The Kadak Live One series represents the legacy of those classic Kadak analog consoles of yesteryear, available today in a very compact and also very affordable package. There are three Live One consoles available, 1642, 2442 and the 3242. The console we have here is the 1642, which is available obviously as console type, but also comes shipped complete with rack ears, because this little console will live quite happily in a 19 inch rack. On the back we have eight Kadak high quality mic preamps, feeding the first eight channels. We then have four stereo line channels, a further two stereo auxiliary returns down here, four subgroups, left and right masters, and six auxiliary sends. So let's have a look at our mono input strip first of all. Mono input strip starts firstly again with that wonderful Kadak mic pre. Gain control, phantom power, and analog high pass filter. We then have four bands of Kadak EQ with swept high and low mid range. EQ in and out button and six auxiliary sends which are switchable pre or post fade in pairs. Routing to groups one and two, routing to groups three and four, routing to left and right masters and a pan control. We then have PFL solo, channel mute and our input meter. But if I solo any of the inputs then the input can also be read on the PFL meters on the master module as well. Very high quality, very light 100 millimeter faders, four subgroups, four auxiliary returns in addition to the two stereo so we also have four mono auxiliary returns plus the two stereo aux returns so this little mixer has an awful lot of inputs on it. All of the auxiliary masters are on faders so you don't have to use uh, rotaries to control your sense to stage or your monitor levels uh, and we also have talkback and solo level control and headphones and local monitors. Rather unusually for a console at this price point, the Live One has an external rack mount power supply, which you can see peaking just around from behind me here. Um, it's a silent running power supply. Again, there's no uh, acoustic noise from either one of the components in this system. Um, power supply can be located remotely from the console, and obviously it is possible to have a second backup power supply if you're doing uh, those really high profile important shows. So now we're looking at the rear panel of the Kadak Live One 1642. So we can see our eight microphone inputs, which feature premium quality Kadak mic pre's. Each mic input also has direct out on a balanced TRS connector and an insert send and return on a single TRS. In addition to the eight mic inputs, we also have the four stereo line inputs we have two stereo return inputs, we have the four subgroup outputs and the six auxiliary send outputs. Down the far end we have our left and right master outputs. We also have a mono sum output which is on a TRS jack. Um, in addition to the mono output we also have a line input that allows you to bring a direct injection back into the console's output buses. Connection to the power supply is on a high quality, very tough locking connector and the power supply is an external 19 inch rack mounting unit. The Live One 3242 is identical to this but obviously that has 24 mic inputs. The Live One 2442 has 16 mic inputs plus the stereos.